Welcome to our series on the wisdom of Ignatius. We are going through the autobiography of Ignatius that he dictated, uh, gleaning points of wisdom that he gives to us, uh, dictates to us from his own experience. He spent some time at Manresa, a uh, time of purification for him. And I'm speaking to you after outside of the cave of Manresa that we have here on our Los Altos campus. Uh, depicts Ignatius praying uh, as he did for many hours in this cave overlooking a river. And he mentions in his autobiography that as he prayed uh, at a particular time period uh, and also uh, in, in one particular day that he had different experiences of enlightenment. He says first he had great devotion to the most holy trinity. He says later, another time there is represented to him, understand with great spiritual delight the manner in which God created the world. He says thirdly, at Manresa, um, he gave up extremes that he formerly adopted. He trimmed his nails and his hair. Uh, and fourthly, he saw with the inner eyes the humanity of Christ. And then fifthly, um, said he somehow had uh, understanding uh, was open to a great illumination of particularly how the spirits work in his life. What is going on? Ignatius is, is not really giving us a creed of what he believes uh, or the compendium of, of everything that's in Catholic faith, but rather he's appropriating certain things from our Catholic tradition more personally to himself seeing the inner eyes, the humanity of Christ. But he's also looking back on those experiences we've been talking about the last few sessions. What happened to him when he was reading the books and discovering the spirits, uh, when he was encountered the moor, uh, when he had that conflict of, of anger uh, and also of, of uh, unclarity. And he looks back on these experiences and he puts them in perspective. He uh, trims his hair and nails. So what does he learn? He learns balance. He learns balance in order to be of service to others. So he trims himself up. Uh, he, gets, he doesn't go to extremes in order to serve others better. Uh, but also he learns how the spirits work. Uh, how the good spirit, the patterns of the good spirit, always leading us to deeper faith, open love, and particularly love, and also the patterns of the evil spirit, how the evil spirit tries to tempt us to go contrary to faith, open love. So he learns from his experience. What can we glean from this is also to reflect upon our lives and to see what is Godward, what is positive, what's life affirming. <clears throat> what is, was the outward manner is good? And how does God confirm all this in terms of uh, the passage of time? How, uh, what is if God is going to take, uh, is going to be persistent? Uh, and so Ignatius learns from his experience uh, of how the spirits work. And this becomes the basis of his writings on the discernment of spirits he places in the spiritual exercises, but also the model for us to do the examine each day, to reflect on our lives, reflect on our experiences, and how is God present to us, guiding us, enlightening us each day, but also where is that force that's contrary to God in our life each day, in our decisions. So this experience at the Cardinaire, of his reflecting on his life and learning those patterns uh, is a real model to us to do the same. So thank you very much for listening to our series on the wisdom of Ignatius.